Can you please tell us the difference between modern modern day Turkey and the Turkic invaders? Are they, are they the same or different ethnic groups? So essentially the question you're asking is what is the difference between the Turks of Turkey and the Turkic peoples of history? So the Turkic peoples of ancient history are the uh, are the ancestors of the modern day Turks. Now if you look at the Turkic peoples who live in Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, etc., Uyghurstan and all the regions of Central Asia, even uh, southern Siberia, etc., you will find that these people have strongly mongol like uh, facial features they 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 are closest uh, their closest ethnic relatives are the mongols so they have that typical mongol style appearance right what is uh, traditionally called the mongoloid appearance uh, so that's what the turkic peoples of central asia look like if you look at the people of turkey they look like europeans they don't look like central asians at all and nevertheless it is the Turkic peoples of Central Asia, the ancient Turkic peoples, who are the ancestors of the modern-day Turks. So the ancient Turkic peoples were the distant cousins of the Mongols. They all, both these ethnic groups, descend from the Hunnic peoples, who are as attested to live in uh, present-day eastern Xinjiang, around two and a half thousand years ago. There were many Hunnic invasions into India as well, and we also assimilated some of these Hunnic peoples. So the Turks and the Mongols are distantly related and the Mong the Turks, they basically lived in Central Asia. Now in the 13th century, in the late 12th and early 13th century, when Chinggis Khan suddenly expanded all across the world, the Turks ran for their lives. And they came, they went east, they went westwards and southwards and they entered Anatolia. And that's the region they conquered and they eventually established the Ottoman Empire. So there was this king called, there was this uh, Turkic leader called Suleiman Shah, who was the first Turk to enter Anatolia. So these are the original Turks. The Turks of today, the people of Turkey, are their descendants. And these ancient Turkic peoples are the ones who invaded India as well. The various Turkic invasions, the Mamluks, who were Turkic slaves, who formed the Delhi Sultanate, and the later the Turks who invaded the first one, this new dynasty, which was led, which was initiated by Babur. He was also a Turk. They are now called the Mughals for because the British called them the Mughals, but they were actually Turks. So the Mughal dynasty is actually a Turkic dynasty. So those are also related to those people who invaded Anatolia and founded the nation, the, the Ottoman Empire, which is now the nation of Turkey. So that is the relationship between these various Turkic peoples. There are lots of different Turkic groups across Central Asia. Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, not Tajikistan, Turkmen Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, uh, let me look at the map, I have it here, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, parts of uh, western present-day China, which is Xinjiang, which is East Turkestan, and also the Siberian peoples of Southern Siberia, etc. So these are all Turkic peoples. They all speak a variety of Turkic languages, which are to some extent mutually intelligible or not. So these are the Turkic peoples. They are spread, spread across a wide uh, region of Eurasia. And the modern-day Turks are descendants of ancient Turkic peoples.